Hope everyone is having a good Thursday. Welcome to Dragonfly Trading System channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Carrie. I'm a full-time trader and mentor for struggling traders. If you are struggling, I have many options for everyone, including advanced traders looking to add more to the tools to their toolbox. Today's video, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin, ETH, the DXY, and some altcoins that I think have a really good chance of taking off bullish. Not financial advice, of course, this is just my bias and my TA. Take it with a grain of salt, do your own due diligence, and let's get started. Starting off with Bitcoin, we have two options on the table. The first option is the bullish option, and it is that we have made three waves to the upside, three waves to the downside, and now we are about to get a big rally of a C wave, potentially taking us to 30K, 40K. Now there is a small chance of another bullish option, and that is where the Z leg truncated and ended here. With that option, we still are looking at a bear market rally, but the difference is, is that we would be coming up in an A, B, C to potentially 40K. Also, if this is a Z bottom, there's always a chance that we go back on a bull run, but we will not confirm that until we take out 41,400 and the 618 retracement coming up over that extension will give much more favor to the bulls and that we have potentially found a permanent bottom. On the bearish side, as you can see, price has bonked its head on the 618 retracement. Taking out 20,900 will put favor to the bulls and that they can continue this upwards motion. If price rejects here or leaves a wick, we will be looking at an A, B, C to the downside, putting in that deeper Z wave. In my last video, we talked about this bullish option of pivoting to the upside, taking out this trend line, and so far, it has a good chance of doing that. We need to take out the 20,871, the 618 retracement, and continue to the upside. This area right here on top of this order block needs to hold as support. The potential target is 32,200. We have a beautiful start to an impulse wave. Right now, I see us in the white fourth wave, pushing up for a fifth wave. You will see bear divergence between the third and the fifth. That point will put in the main third, correct for a fourth that should not take out this fourth, create bullish divergence, and then kick up for a fifth wave, potentially taking it up to 23,100. Now on the bearish side, this can be an ABC. As you see, it has bonked its head on the 618. What would happen is potentially one more hit to the high that leaves a wick. We do not want to close candles over 20,890. This would put in the ABC and price would pivot to the downside. Let's talk a little bit about this fourth wave. Coming underneath 20,024 will invalidate this fourth wave happening. A higher degree fourth wave should not take out the prior degree or the 0.5 retracement. You end up coming into your wave one. This should pull back and not take out the 0.5 extension and then kick to the upside. Okay, so let's take a look at ETH. It has the exact same options. 
are we moving to the upside in an A, B, C for a bear market rally that we'll put in an X or a B, taking it approximately to 3,000? Or is it creating an ABC to the downside to put in a potential Z leg? Let's take a look at ETH. ETH is the exact same scenarios. Is it coming to the upside in an ABC structure to put in a potential X or B at approximately 3,000? Or is it coming to the downside in an ABC and potentially putting in a Z wave? Let's talk about the upside potential first. As you can see, it has taken out slightly the 618 retracement. It needs to continue upwards to have the potential for the C leg or the much more bullish option of the wave 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If it's going to be the bearish option, we have created 3 to the downside, 3 to the upside for a B wave, and it plans to head down for a C wave. It would need to start rejecting very very soon we are going to close a daily candle above the 618 if it doesn't reject today which will put favors to the bulls okay let's take a look at the lower time frame if this impulse wave is going to continue we need to hold the 0.5 retracement at 1440 Really, it doesn't need to come that deep, and the deepest I want to see it come is 1475. Taking out this higher degree fourth should not happen. Should push up for a fifth wave, then create an additional fourth and fifth. If ETH plans to fail, it may push up for a fifth and then you will see a very harsh rejection that takes out this fourth wave territory leading it downwards to create that z wave let's take a look at the dxy the dxy could be in its main third wave this would mean that it needs to create the main fourth that goes with this wave two Pulling minimum time, we're looking at January 27th. That is how big this fourth wave needs to be. Now, it could be that it's in a lower degree fourth and needs another fifth to the upside before this fourth wave happens. It's very hard to tell exactly how many ones and twos are down here. Breaking this trend line puts much more favor that this fourth wave is happening and breaking 104 structure would put a lot more favor that this is an ending and we're in for a very deep retracement in the DXY. Let's take a look at APE. APE has a lot of potential for upside. I see this current wave structure as a wave one and two and a potential one and two. This would create a nest with big upside potential. This invalidation is at $4.42. This wave can come deeper to the downside to the one to one, 1 1.236 or 1.382. I would like to see it protect its A wave and hold at the one to one, but it can come as deep as the 1.382 and then we would like it to pivot to the upside very bullishly. This would create a potential big rally. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take a look at my website and all I have to offer and I will see you in the next one.